Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 1 Rethinking Travel. Unit 2 RV Nomads. Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to understand who are nomads. Describe the reason for becoming an RV nomad. And describe the advantages and disadvantages of traveling full time in an RV. Paragraph 1. Nine years ago, Duane and Mary Jane Weber, both 56 at the time, said goodbye to their settled life in Osmond, Nebraska. They sold their newspaper and printing businesses, their cars, their home, and just about everything in it. They bought a recreational vehicle and have been driving ever since. Paragraph 2. There are thousands of such people. Escapees RV Club reports 34,000 member families who are full-time RVers in the United States and Canada. Never have the Webbers regretted the extreme shift in lifestyle. It's not for everybody, though. Paragraph 3. First, it takes a lot of love to make life on the road work. According to the Webbers, you have to want to be together. You have to be compatible. Second, you have to enjoy the traveling lifestyle. Third, it's not for people who like to own a lot of stuff, because there just isn't room. Paragraph 4. The driver's seat is a comfortable living room chair that swivels around to face the windshield. Cruising down the highway is like sitting in your living room and looking out a picture window at continually changing scenery, Duane said. Paragraph 5. Scenery isn't the only pleasure of RVing, according to the Webbers. The couple enjoys trying the various foods available around the continent. They prepare most of their own meals in the RV, however. Paragraph 6. An RV can cost from 40000 to 900000 U.S. dollars, depending on the many features that are available. Once on the road, the main living expenses are food, clothing, and diesel fuel to keep the RV moving, the Weber said. True, diesel is costly in the United States, and the RV is not fuel efficient. Duane likes to tell people who ask about the gas mileage that it's not great for a vehicle, but pretty good for a house. Match the words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, shift. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. E, change. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word shift. Muhammad, can you please tell us what this means to you? Well, I see in this picture change, where you're going left or right. So you change the whole road lifestyle, and that's what shift means. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word shift. I'll read the sentence for you. Never have the Webbers regretted the extreme shift in lifestyle. Number two, stuff. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. A. Thinks. Now let's take a look at a vocabulary picture related to the vocabulary word stuff. Mohammed, can you talk about this? There's a box in this picture and it's containing a lot of things inside of it. And that's what stuff means. Things. Let's look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word stuff. I'd like to read the sentence for you. Third, it's not for people who like to own a lot of stuff because there just isn't room. Number three, to swivel. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D, to turn. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word swivel. Muhammad, can you please talk about this? In this picture I see a chair and you can turn it around wherever the direction you want. And that's what to swivel means, to turn. Let's look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word swivels. I'll read the sentence for you. The driver's seat is a comfortable living room chair that swivels around to face the windshield. Number four, to cruise. Muhammad, can you please give us its correct meaning on the right? C, to drive easily. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary words to cruise. Muhammad, can you talk about this? I see... A person driving his car or her car and enjoying the scene and he's driving easily to enjoy that and that's what 
to cruise mean driving easily. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word cruising. I'll read the sentence for you. Cruising down the highway is like sitting in your living room and looking out a picture window. A continually changing scenery, Duane said. Number five, diesel fuel. Mohammed, can you please give us the correct meaning on the right? B, a type of gas. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary words diesel fuel. Mohammed, can you please talk about this? As you see in this picture, there's different types of fuel, and the diesel's one of them, the yellow one. That's one type of fuel, diesel. Let's look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary words diesel fuel. Let's read the sentence it is in. Once on the road, the main living expenses are food, clothing, and diesel fuel to keep the RV moving, the Weber said. Now, let's choose the correct answer. Number one, the Webers currently live C, on the road. Let's look at the paragraph containing that answer. In the bottom sentence, it reads, They bought a recreational vehicle and have been driving ever since. Number two, a full-time RVer is A, a person who lives in a recreational vehicle. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing this answer. Towards the bottom sentence, it reads, They bought a recreational vehicle and have been driving ever since. Number three, the Webers B, do not regret their decision to live in an RV. Let's take a look at paragraph 5, which gives us this answer. Please look at the words in bold. Scenery isn't the only pleasure of RVing, according to the Webbers. The couple enjoys trying the various foods available around the continent. Now, let's have a discussion. Mohammed, tell us what you learned. There is all interesting stuff in this unit to learn, actually. I know that nomads are the tra travelers who travels around the continent, world, maybe inside one country, multiple countries. And I know that the Webers became an RV nomad for many reasons, but the most of all, they try, they enjoying traveling around the continent. And there's about the RV advantage and disadvantage. The advantage of the RV that you can see a lot of places, try a new food and stuff like that. And the disadvantage are you can't carry a lot of stuff, the fuel, it's expensive in the United States. Also, you're moving around. Thank you.